Hi everyone, it's Ken again with another UVM interview question. What is UVM reporting or messaging mechanism? This is a four part video. In the first part, I'll introduce what UVM messages and their functions are. Recent college graduates and junior engineers should most definitely know the details about uh, what's being presented in part one and part two. Part two is severity, um, which is basically UVM info, error, UVM um, fatal and warning. Part three and four provide a little bit more detail um, in terms of uh, UVM messages, uh, related actions and verbosity. So um, let's go on to part one. So let me provide a quick uh, intro um, to UVM messages. The main purpose of the UVM messages is to print or log relevant information from UVM test bench into a log file. This is typically in a uniform manner or format, and there's no need to recompile. These are better than using dollar display, dollar strobes, monitor, etc. As it is hard to turn on or off specific instances of these debug messages. Also, um, location of a particular display message are at times hard to find because um, we don't have a file or line number details available. Typically, to print uh, these kind of dollar displays and strobes, um, these messages uh, or these debug messages are under some macro um, tick defines. And as we all know, um, a tick define would require um, essentially a recompilation, which is both um, time consuming and inefficient. So let's first see how UVM components deal with something like this. So UVM components already have the reporting infrastructures available to them as well as the interfaces, as all components uh, in UVM extend from the UVM report object class. Objects, or as opposed to UVM object instances, uh, they do not have reporting mechanism available to them, as uh, they do not extend from UVM report handle. Um, typically, a class that is instantiating an object um, can call um, user define convert to string function. Um, so this is a virtual function. Um, however, it needs to be defined and then it can be used by uh, the class, which is um, or uh, by whoever is instantiating the object. So again, they can use like a um info, and in place of the message, they can do a convert to string call on that object instance, and then that, that way we can control these messages. But objects inherently don't have the reporting mechanism. Um, so there are a few exceptions in terms of some of the objects which um, can um, do uh, reporting. So, so even though UVM sequence items and UVM uh, sequences are of type UVM object, they're not, they're not UVM components. Uh, they still have methods available for reporting messages. Um, this is done by utilizing the uh, concern sequencer or the associated sequencer. Um, so if a particular sequencer has been associated or set uh, for a sequence, uh, then uh, the rep reporting mechanism of that particular sequencer gets used. Otherwise, um, we all uh, have the global reporter um, available uh, from the top uh, test bench, uh, which can be used to do the reporting. Um, next, uh, we are going to discuss about severity levels. In short, um, there are four main levels or functions that can be used to report uh, messages and perform uh, certain actions in a uh, certain actions as a response to these messages. 
uh, the four severity levels are um, UVM error, fatal, info, warning. So UVM messages <clears throat> and reporting not only prints messages, um, they also uh, perform certain actions uh, that are dependent on the type of mess messages that are being generated. In all, there are eight types. Uh, of UVM uh, message actions. Um, however, these three are the most important. UVM display, UVM exit, and um, UVM count. Uh, so typically, uh, junior level engineers, um, or DV engineers in, at any level should know uh, what a UVM display is, which is just meant to log or print. UVM count, on the other hand, is typically used to count um, the number of errors generated, and UVM exit um, is, def is by default used by, um, or is an action that's associated with UVM fatal by default, so that um, you can end a simulation immediately if a fatal error has been generated. Um, so please remember uh, more details for severity uh, is going to be covered in uh, part two of this series um, and um, actions, the UVM actions associated with the messages is going to be covered in part three. Um, I'll have updated the links um, in the info information section of this particular video um, accordingly. Okay, so in this slide we'll go a little bit more detail about what the UVM message functions are. The function's name um, are essentially you, or is um, UVM report info, uh, fatal, UVM report error, and UVM report uh, warning. These are um, these are quite similar, um, and each of these have uh, essentially five parameters available. Uh, the first one is the message ID. Uh, this is of type string and is typically used to group similar kinds of messages to perform certain actions, like for instance, changing the severity for a particular fatal um, kind of an um, error to maybe a warning or to an error, um, among other things. The next one is text or uh, the message content. Um, this is also um, a type of string, and essentially it provides um, the detail message that gets printed uh, in, in the body of a UV message. Uh, an example of this would be, uh, for instance, the expected versus actual value at a particular um, address, a memory address or register, um, if you're trying to find out um, uh, what the, um, you know, the data integrity for a particular register or a memory location, you can print out the details, what the address is, what the actual value is, and what the, um, required value was, and then uh, an error is generated essentially. The file name and line number, these are, um, so again file uh, name is a string which is nothing more than the path where that particular um, UVM message, i.e. info or UVM error is basically um, located and line number is at which line that particular message is located. Um, so file name um, as well as um, line um, arguments can be provided by using the, uh, the file and line macros um, as part of the arguments uh, to the file name and the line number uh, parameters of these functions. Um, again, of course, uh, this makes uh, debugging um, a particular error message or debugging an information related UVM info message or something much more easy. Um, the other thing is the verbosity level essentially, uh, which is of type uh, enum. Um, it's, it's mainly required for UVM info. As shown, there are six levels, uh, UVM none, low, medium, high, full, and debug. Uh, UVM none, uh, being of the highest um, priority 
and UVM debug being the lowest. So, so what does that mean essentially? So for example, by default, um, the verbosity level of U UVM info is UVM uh, medium, which means all UVM infos that has a verbosity level set to medium or higher will be displayed in the log file. Uh, that means only messages which have a ver verbosity set to UVM none, low, and high, these are all higher than UVM medium, will get printed into the log file. Here I'm providing um, like you know basic syntax for the UVM report um, info, error, warning, and fatal. Uh, pretty much, like I said, all of them have um, <clears throat> uh, five parameters, and that's essentially what we are showing here. Another way of using this is, or uh, these functions is to basically um, use um, the macro. Um, so these macros already have file and line arguments available. So if you look closely, UVM error, warning, and fatal just have uh, the ID and the message as uh, basically uh, the two string um, arguments that are required. Uh, whereas the UVM info requires ID as well as the message, as well as the ver verbosity level. Um, so that's about it as a uh, basic introduction to UVM messages and verbosity. Uh, verbosity in detail is going to be covered in part four and, uh, of this, um, like part four of this video series. And again, I'll include the link uh, once it's available. Um, that's about it. Um, please let me know if you have any more questions or comments. And uh, let me know if you have any uh, particular topic you'd like me to cover. I'll see you guys in the next part, which is going to be part two. Um, and we're going to be covering severity uh, in that particular uh, video. Thanks and goodbye.